right guys in this video I want to talk to you about a theory that I have put together based on my experience from selling on Amazon um, since September last year now this is based having launched three different products uh, with various PPC campaigns now what I'm about to say I have no evidence for other than my kind of my own anecdotal experience of uh, of what I've been through so feel free to disagree now you, you might have seen this before people talking about how sales from off-site for example sales through um, Facebook adverts can be quite valuable and some people even say that PPC sales aren't as valuable as organic sales and that with that I probably would agree actually um, so not all sales on Amazon are equal but there's also the theory that I've um, adopted that some sales actually do you more damage than good so bear with me before you kind of unsubscribe and uh, think I'm going crazy now the reason I have kind of come to this conclusion is this is based off uh, I sell three products on Amazon and I've seen the same thing with all three of them at different times uh, throughout the life kind of the history of each of those products um, and what it relates to is that there is a point at which PPC for me and obviously this is going to vary from product to product and category to category there seems to be a point at which PPC um, doesn't offer any additional value and sometimes can actually be detrimental to your organic ranks. So to give you an example, um, one, my, my first product which I was selling really well over Christmas and was actually selling too well, um, I was doing PPC at the time and I wanted to slow down the sales. Now this was a product that I'd managed to get to kind of organically ranked around positions kind of five or four or five for most of the main keywords that I was targeting. So I thought if I slow down the PPC, um, that will eke out another couple of weeks of stock um, and avoid going out of stock. However, what happened is I stopped PPC and my sales continued exactly as they were and if anything, they actually went up a little bit. Um, and when I was checking the, uh, the, the keyword tracking through Helium 10, as you guys know I use, uh, my organic ranks actually started to improve a week or two after I turned the PPC off. Now I just thought this was a freak coincidence. Um, I didn't think anything of it. However, it's, I've also saw the same thing with my second product a couple of months ago and more recently with my third product which I've been experimenting with over the last couple of weeks. So what it seems to be um, that Amazon don't, I know I've always talked about sales being the be all and end all with what kind of your organic ranks but there's also two other important factors with uh, where Amazon dis whether Amazon dis chooses to display you um, for a particular search term and that is also your click through rate and your conversion rate. So you know you can force sales by just throwing massive amounts of budget at PPC. However, if you spend, I don't know, £100 to get one £10 sale, then Amazon's probably thinking, well, all this guy is doing is showing us that he doesn't convert very well. Whereas if your PPC, for example, converts four sales from £20 spend, then you're showing Amazon that you convert quite well. And their, their thought process or their bots algorithm process would be, well, if this product's converting really well, the more people we can get this in front of, the better it's going to sell. Whereas the one that's not selling very well, they're thinking, well, there's not many, there's not much point improving their organic rank because they're actually showing us um, through PPC that this product doesn't sell for this particular keyword. So that's why I've kind of come to this conclusion that not all sales are good and some sales might actually be bad. And what this comes down to is how well optimized your PPC campaign um, is and what type of keywords you're going after. So I would recommend avoiding your master keyword because generally that is too broad. Um, if we, let's, go, let's jump onto Amazon and take um, an example product and just if I give you my thought process as to what would be a good search term and a bad search term to, to kind of look at and how that might kind of transfer through to this theory that I've been discussing in this video. So if we say for example that we are selling um, a leather uh, swivel office chair. For, so let's, let's take um, the broad keyword. So if someone just comes to Amazon and put in chair and say you are targeting this in your PPC campaign. What you'll find is you'll get lots of people searching for chair who aren't actually searching for an office chair, let alone a level one or one that swivels. So you'd be spending a lot of money on a keyword that's very high volume, so it'd easily blow your budget up, um, and also be very bad for your click-through rate because there's only, only going to be a certain amount of people on this page who have searched chair that actually want an office chair or a swivel chair, um, and it's also going to impact your conversion rate as well. So. That is why I wouldn't go for kind of a single keyword like that or a, high, a very top level keyword that is very, very broad. Now, office chair, you might think, okay, that's a little bit better. And potentially, yes, it is okay. But remember, there's more than one type of office chair. You've got mesh ones, you've got level ones, uh, you've even got ones that don't move, you know, your traditional kind of uh, meeting chairs, stuff like that. 
So I would probably say I wouldn't necessarily even, I might toy with office chair, but I would want my kind of my main um, keywords contained within that search term. So lever office chair. Now someone searching for lever office chair, there's a very, very good chance if I'm selling a lever office chair. One is that the click through rate is going to be good because they're highly likely to click on my advert. And then secondly, the conversion rate is going to be a lot better as well. So Amazon will take that all into account when deciding whether to improve your organic ranks or not. So if you've if you're targeting, for example, lever office chair or swivel office chair, and these are both highly relevant to your product, what Amazon will see is that your product, when it is shown um, for those keywords, one, it is very relevant because the click-through rate is very good, and secondly, the conversion rate, if all, all other things being you know equal, you know, the listing's good, photography, stuff like that, then they will say, okay, their conversion rate is good as well. So if Amazon can see across a broad range of keywords which you've targeted highly, you know, really, really close to what you're selling, Amazon, okay, this is a great listing, you know, it's got a great click-through rate, it's got a great conversion rate, let's get this product in front of as many people as possible. And that for me is my theory as to why, if sometimes you turn PPC off, um, your organic ranks can improve. Now obviously, if you just launch your product, turning PPC off isn't gonna achieve a thing because you're not gonna have any organic ranks. And sometimes PPC, even unoptimized PPC, can get you to a level where organic ranks um, can kind of like maybe take over or start contributing to your overall sales. And then it kind of has a knock-on effect, the organic ranks with PPC sales together will push you up further. However, I do believe at a certain point, if your PPC campaign isn't very, very optimized, so I'm not saying this is the case for all products and all PPC campaigns, but I think if your PPC campaign has a higher conversion rate, um, and a lower click-through rate than your organic listing does, then I believe that will pull down your organic listing um, and pulls down your overall average. For example, if your organic listing had, a, say, a 30% conversion rate, you know, it's really good, you know, almost every one in three people is buying your product, fantastic, but your PPC campaign is only 15%, then Amazon might take the average somewhere in between. Um, again, this is all theory, this isn't proven. Um, which means it pulls down your overall conversion rate and probably the same with your click-through rate as well. So I think that's why sometimes when your PPC is either very um, unoptimized or when you turn it off uh, and you then turn it off, that your organic ranks can improve further because that overall click-through rates and conversion rates are not being pulled down by the PPC. So that's my theory. You know, it, My theory is that not all sales are equal and that sometimes PPC, if not done well, can stop you reaching the peaks of the organic ranks that you are aiming for. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'd love to know if you guys have got any experiences you know, similar to what I've had. Um, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree, of course, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.